So I want you to know that when you offer your body as a living sacrifice to God, it is his to use as he so desires. When you decide to take up your cross and to follow God, you open yourself up to the way that God wants to use you. It is no longer up to you to decide what your life will be like. Not just what your life will be like, what your moment will be like. Hear that, what your moment will be like. You see, God will have authority over your moment. You don't get to decide when you have a good moment or when you have a bad moment. That moment belongs to God. See, what people don't tell you is that when you deny yourself, when you take up your cross, when you follow God, you become his vessel. You become his to use as he desires. You no longer get a choice. You see, you may be thinking, oh, he's going to use me for ministry. But you don't know how. Can you wake up in the morning and experience extreme spiritual warfare at the hands of the father? Yes. Because he wants you to experience it. He wants you to fight through it. You see, he's training you. He has to allow Satan to have access to you under his purview, under his covering, under his protection, so that he can teach you how to start resisting, how to start fighting back, how to spiritually war. As you come out of it, he's able to now give you the lesson and open up an opportunity for you to provide the lesson for others. Listen to this example of Jesus. He says, Peter, Satan has decided to sift you as wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith will not fail you. And when you are strengthened, go out and strengthen your brethren. You see, you need to know when you give your life over to God, you give your life over to God. It's his. See, as a Christian, your life is no longer your own. See, we say these things, we read these things in scripture, but what does that look like in real life? You see, you understand these things conceptually, but you need to understand how will it apply to your life and what does that look like on a daily basis for you to live into scripture, for you to walk scripture out? What does it mean to take up my cross and follow him? Well, you have things that are not going your way. You have things that you cannot control. You have things occurring in your life that you don't like. You have things that are occurring that you don't understand. Understand this is a part of taking up your cross. And it is part of the Lord's training ground for you. To keep you off balance. To keep you not knowing. To keep you his. You see... Living for God, taking up your cross and following God, denying yourself, giving your body over to a living sacrifice. Do you understand the depths of that, the gravity of that, the magnitude for that? That means God can use you in any way that he chooses at any given moment. What that means is that there's no end to how God can use you. You see, when you abide in God and God abides in you, he has total control over you. 
you find yourself changing the way how you think and changing the way how you move. I want you to understand why. How is that transformation occurring? His thoughts are not your thoughts. His ways are not your ways. When you surrender yourself to the Lord and give your whole life to him, he is able to show up and move so powerfully in and through you because that vessel is now clear and now open. So now you are thinking as he thinks you are moving the way he's moving because he's full of you and you've yielded to him and he is now able to show up through you. You see, you're wondering and you're upset with the loss you're experiencing. The fact that you haven't arrived in the way that you should have arrived. That your blessings have not gotten here on the schedule in which you desire. That the relationship is not healed. That the children are not operating in the way that they should. That they have not given themselves over and surrendered to Christ as you may have desired. You may be upset that the job situation hasn't changed, that the financial blessings have not come knocking at your door and running you over. But understand that God has purpose in all of that and you don't get to decide when and how anything takes place in your life. You have given yourself over as an instrument, as a vessel of the Lord's. And if he is using those situations to sanctify you, to purify you so that it can change and transform you and then you can go out and change and transform others, then so be it. That's what you signed up for when you signed up to give yourself over to Christ. Yeah. See, it's more than just activity about you saying the sinner's prayer once and then you go now doing a bunch of stuff. You're working for God, doing all this activity, doing the checklist, going to church, doing Bible study, doing all the stuff. Yeah, it's more than that. See, you've given over your life and declared Jesus as Lord. Jesus is Lord over your life. You see, when you declare Jesus as Lord, he now have governance over your not life. He gets to dictate what that life looks like and how it is. And you do not get a say. The only thing you can do is surrender to the Lord. A fresh, daily, moment to moment, surrendering anew to the Lord. When you surrender to anew to the Lord, you can now get into alignment what God is doing in your life. Now it's not so tough because you've given away, you've yielded, you are no longer resisting and fighting against, you are working with and working towards. Know that when you give your life over to the Lord, you give your life over to the Lord. You're fighting against the very thing that you've given over to God. Do you see that? Why do you think it's about you when you are supposed to have died to you? When you are supposed to have crucified yourself, when you are supposed to deny yourself, I want you to think about your prayers. I want you to think about your thoughts. I want you to think about your focus and your emphasis. Is it I, 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 me, 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 what I want, what I desire, what I need, why can't I ever, what's going on with me, what's happening with me, why can't I ever, why don't you do this for me? That is not biblical. That is not a call to Christ. That is not who you are as a Christian. You are dead to self and dead men don't feel. Why? Because you can't kill a dead man. Satan has no power over a dead man. Satan has no power over someone who has died to themselves because they need nothing. Dead men don't need. Don't, dead man don't feel. Dead man just simply are. Remember, you are dead to self, and when you give yourself over to Christ, you're his.